watching Usual Mike Television. I'm Usual Mike and today's a video for Funko Pop owners. If you're in a Funko Pop, I've got heaps of them. I've devised a system of how to store them. This looks like nothing, truly. We're going to put this together and I'll show you the ergonomic, beautiful design that you can do with it. Well, most Funko Pop people have shelves, bookcases, they put them in cases, stack them 50 feet high. This little thing is, is, is kind of it's to make your house look pretty. I'm going to crack it open, set it up, and I'll put some of the Funko Pops that we've seen in previous episodes from Funko Pop Friday on this channel. Check those out, I'll leave a link, and we'll start putting this together. Okay, so I've got my box open. Inside, some instructions. What is it? Well, I didn't really know what it was. A hardware store was closing down where I live, and I went in there and bought it for $10. It is for people who have big, fancy drawers, dresser drawers, and you pull out the drawer, it's like this wide. Inside, there's spaces, and spaces like this connect the little dots like that, and well, we'll put it together and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do. I gotta find them instructions again. I'm going to do it here. It's supposed to look like that. You see? Lovely. So, I'll get started. Speed up the film. I'll do it in like literally seconds. Well, surprised to say I didn't need to go to the instructions. <laughs> now we're going to see what it's like when I, we put the Funko Pops in it. I'm back. So, ah uh, yes, Kylo Ren. Choose a shelf for. Ah, talk about perfection. The shape is, oh, just lucky to get this one. From episode one, I believe, on Funko Pop Friday. Yeah! <laughs> Happy so far. There's a few pops here I'm not going to show you yet because we need another few episodes of Funko Pop Friday to catch up on those suckers. Ooh, excited about them ones. Ah, yes, FN2187. There you go, buddy. Star Wars. Try and keep a whole shelf to them. And Han from Hoff. Beautiful, one of my favourites, passed away this year, Willy Wonka, what Gene Wilder did. Willy! Here you go, buddy. That's terrific. What else we got in the bottom of this bag? Here I'm again. The Phantom, seen in the last episode. Oh. Another Star Wars one. Go there. And all the lovely canaries. Yeah. So as you can see, I can add a few more on there. And it goes even higher than I've got it up to there. Pay no attention to that thing. <laughs> it's just pretty girls in a photo frame. Anyway, that is the what do I call it again? It is the drawer divider. The fancy, fancy drawers which are this wide. What happens is you put this in the drawer and then you can put your, your socks and your belts and your underpants and Folded up neckties, had to have a thing for a second there. What would they put in there? Hmm. So that's what it would be initially used for. And when I saw the dimensions of how big squares were, I was like, gotta buy this. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. For my Australian viewers, that was at Masters, which is no longer around anymore. It failed it and it's all closed down. But if you find one, they're made in Denmark. Danes know what they're talking about. They must have been Funko Pop fans. Yeah. 
Anyway, that's just another way you can display your pops. I'm happy, I hope you are too. Please like this video, leave me a comment, tell me if you've got a different way to design it, or you'd like to see me try something else. But until next time, take care. You can follow me on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. Subscribe to this channel for more and click the little bell. That's a notification. So it'll tell you when videos I make come up in your feed. Mmm. You want that. And this has been Usual Mike signing off. All the best.